Blessings beautiful people. It is protein treatment wash day with a little commentary. Hope you enjoy. Recently there has been consistent talk about how the natural hair movement has failed. I understand where people are coming from. But, people are confusing the natural hair movement with the natural hair community. These have always been two separate entities with their own agenda. The natural hair movement always had a bigger mission to force society to make space for the beauty and versatility of Afro hair. This is a big deal because society has actively discriminated and penalized us for wearing our hair. The founding women used their platforms to teach us how to care for Afro hair without the influence of Caucasoid hair care practices. To this day, Cosmetology schools only focus on the health and beautification of straight hair while completely changing everything that makes afro hair magical and beautiful. The women who pioneered the movement gave us the lock method as a template to keep our hair moisturized and soft. They taught us about finger detangling, protein treatment, and most importantly deep conditioning. Then add in the emergence of the Crown Act, which makes it illegal for companies to fire Nubian people for how they choose to wear their hair. Plus, how many Nubian-owned natural hair businesses have been opened as a result of the natural hair movement. The quote for us, by us was the theme of the movement. We were building up ourselves and forcing Caucasoid society to accept us for exactly who we are. So, how can we say the movement has failed when it gave us so much? Now, on the other hand the natural hair community, the actual people who hopped on the bandwagon over the years has significantly changed and therefore the priorities of the community have changed. To me, there were three things that derailed the natural hair community. 1. The mass dash of Nubian women to go to cosmetology school. This would not have been so detrimental to the community if these schools actually taught Afro hair care. They do not. And because of this, you have all these brown skin stylists who are not qualified to take care of coily hair presenting themselves as natural hair stylist. If you were solely trained on straight hair care you are not natural hair stylist. 2. Because so many brown skin women went to cosmetology school, there was a shift from hair care to hair styling within the community. Spending the time needed learn how to take care of afro hair, became an inconvenience. Once the hair was styled and looking nice then that was all that matters. But the style was always some type of straight hair or silk press. Having coily hair just was not the thing to do anymore. 3. As the popularity of the natural hair movement spread, looser and silkier haired people decided they also wanted to embrace their hair. At that point, their voices became more dominant. Their hair became the desired look for natural hair that left type 4C naturals in a very go sit to the back of the bus state of mind. With the priorities of the natural hair community more focused on making natural hair smoother, well defined, gelled up and slicked down when styled, accept accepting that your hair defies gravity, will not be laid down by the likes of echo styler or edge control and is like a cloud is very hard to reconcile when you just want to be accepted and feel beautiful. I have been natural for 14 years. I followed the original teachings of the natural hair movement and because of that my hair has bloomed. I do not look to the natural hair community as a whole for motivation or help because their priority is not coily, cloudy textured hair. There are other naturals like myself who are still of the original mindset when it comes to hair care and actually teach you how to care for and grow your hair. Now I am nappy for example she does countless challenges to help new and frustrated naturals grow their hair and be consistent with developing a routine. While the natural hair movement did its job, the natural hair community leaves much to be desired.